Hi, we are Lars and Sam, part of the team that initiated the OCE days, the Open Source Circular Economy days. In this video, we're going to try to answer the question, what is open source? The main idea is that when you publish or sell something, you also distribute the information required to make and understand that thing. So it's like providing a recipe with a cake. The recipe allows people to learn from it, to experiment, to adapt it to their own tastes, ingredients or equipment. Open source means sharing your work and knowledge with the commons for everybody to benefit. But there are a few key details and requirements that allow everything to run smoothly. These may be legal licenses or social norms that have developed over the years. Since the founding of the Free Software Foundation in 1985, communities have developed definitions and guidelines. We're going to look at a couple of them here. For something to be open, it means anyone can freely access, use, modify and share it for any purpose. And here's an open definition focused on open source hardware, so for physical objects or related practices. Open source hardware is hardware whose design is made publicly available so that anyone can study, modify, distribute, make and sell the design or hardware based on that design. The hardware source, the design from which it's made, is available in the preferred format for making modifications to it. So what is open source? It's sharing information and giving people permission to do great things with that information. But for it to work, the information must be clear, complete and instructive, and the permissions must be explicit to enable people to do with it what they see fit. Well, as the definition says, people make what they do publicly available. So they share design files for hardware, recipes for materials, descriptions and tutorials of processes, source code for software, parts lists, or machine-readable and complete sets of data. Not just superficial photos or descriptions, but real, deep and useful information in order to allow people to do things with it. Wherever possible, they try to use open standards, file formats that are compatible with a wide range of tools and are accessible to people. Share editable files. A PDF is hard to edit. Share an ODT or doc file as well. Make sure that others can read and edit your files without having to buy expensive tools or software. But when we talk about physical objects, this means rather than using a complicated part that has to be custom built or materials that are difficult to access in certain parts of the world, people try to use readily available common components and materials as well as standard processes. This maximizes the ability of others to use the hardware, meaning the project can get input, ideas, improvements from a wider range of people and use cases. As more people can build these things, the more they spread. They find a wider audience and more contributors. People can adapt open source projects. They can apply it to their local need. There's no one size fits all solution. For the OCE days, for example, in Lomé, you have different ways than you have in Helsinki. So solutions have to be customized. Open source can save time and money by avoiding patents and developing collaborative communities to help with research and development. You can build trust in your products because with open documentation others can maintain and repair it and if it is recyclable, recycle it. But for all of this to work, you need to give people permission to help you. Licenses are a practical tool that allow the open source ecosystem to work. An open license tells people, it's okay, you have permission to use this, go do something with it. When you create a document, file or creative work, you automatically have an all rights reserved copyright that prevents others from copying or improving that work. To legally allow collaboration with others, you need to use an open license. The question of licensing is not trivial, and there are different licenses for different things, and it's not the purpose of this video to dive too deeply into the matter. But whichever license you choose, ensure that it doesn't have a non-commercial or no derivatives clause, because this is not open source. Remember, anyone can freely access, use, modify and share for any purpose. And commercial use is a valid use. By restricting commercial use, you're restricting people's creativity and motivation from the very first interaction. And using these licenses makes your work incompatible with free and open source projects. As a starting point, here are two clear and common licenses which you can use, which fit every definition of open source. Creative Commons Attribution and Attribution Share Alike. You can find more information about these in the video description. Can you make money with open source? I wish I could say this question is rare, but truth is, most people ask this question. Of course you can make money with it, 
The idea that you can is some kind of bug in most people's heads, preventing them from thinking beyond monopoly-based business models and being really creative. There are a lot of answers to these questions and business models built on top of the advantages and possibilities of open source. And the OCE days are also about combining them with the business models of circular economy. Just because open source gives you all the information you need to make something yourself, it doesn't mean it's all DIY or hobbyist projects. Often projects are open source to allow companies and industry to collaborate on complex, high-level products which users probably wouldn't build themselves. Companies benefit from shared open source projects while specializing on their unique products and services. This allows better, faster and smarter cross-industry collaboration. And we can use this approach to build a circular economy. Open source is a worldwide movement. You can probably find people in your local town or city that can help you understand it. Search for makerspaces or fab labs near you. These spaces are very strongly related to open source, so it's a good place to get some first open source experience and find people to help you get started. And finally, we want to say that open source is still young. It's very well developed in the world of software, where the whole movement started, but other areas are slowly catching up. There's still a lot to do and to invent in the world of hardware, processes, business communications and so on. And circular economy is a great goal to work on together. Let's get experimenting.